cat check. How many cats do you have lying around? Sometimes I foster two, three at a time because if they have siblings who are available, I, I don't really like to separate them. So I know at one point I had five kittens running around. So every room I'm coming in, it's a trail of cats behind me. It was just crazy. I got it, I got it. Thank you. Help me out. We won! Yes! So my first foster, they call it a, a fail foster because you're, you're not supposed to adopt your fosters, but I just fell in love with her. <laughs> I got an email with a cat named Bambi. She was at a, a kill shelter in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Soon as she got in the car, it was like a match made in heaven. He wants to try to climb up on her. I was never a cat person. I never grew up with any pets. Just having Bambi was my first experience. We were kind of like one of the same. She had anxiety. I felt like I had anxiety. And when we were around each other, we took our stress levels down. She looks up at me with those big old eyes and is like, yeah, I'm here for you. I love you. It's going to be okay. They say I rescued her, but I feel like she rescued me. After I got a couple fosters, I think I was just addicted. Every time I got an email about a new foster, I was like, yes, I'll take him. It's been continuous for over two years now. I foster um, 18 cats. Um, since then, they all found new homes. You know, they're simple. They just come to you, they look at you in the eyes, they arch their little backs. They just want to be loved, they just want to be rubbed. I'm just one of them, we're running, I'm running around with them. We're just having a blast, like, we're just one big family. Every cat, when they leave, they have a little part of me and I have a little part of them. I don't see me stopping, I feel like I'm gonna do this forever.